One of the hidden yet most profound things that's happening on the earth today is the movement between Israel and the Palestinians as it concerns economics. If you can imagine to yourself in the newspapers and everything that you hear, you hear about two-state solutions, you hear about separation walls, you hear about two peoples never getting along. And yet there's a movement today in the area of business that's bringing the Israelis and Palestinians together. Um, together, Sheikh Ashraf Jabri, who is the head of the Muslim cleric um, that is at the helm of a 40,000-member family, not to mention a, the largest business movement among the Palestinian people today, formed what is called the Judea and Samaria Chamber of Commerce with an Israeli Jewish man called Avi Zimmerman. This was formed about three years ago, wondering and hoping and wishing that maybe the two could come together and to create a joint business proposition for Israelis and Palestinians that are wanting to work together. I believe it is so important during this time of fasting and prayer that we on this journey pray into this new platform that's taking place inside of Israel today. As a result of their commitment to see this business endeavor come to the fore uh, between these two people groups, God has blessed them and caused 700 businesses to form just in the last couple of years. If there is a movement on the face of the earth today, it is between the Palestinians and Israelis who want to shed pretense, who want to put the enmity behind them, and they want their children to prosper inside the area called Judea and Samaria or the West Bank. They want a new lease on life. The Palestinians don't want to be a low-income refugee status. They want to see themselves prosper. They want economic development, and they know that it cannot happen without relationships with the Israelis. So here's where we stand today, an opportunity to jump up on the wall and to pray into this endeavor that's taking place. We brought Avi Zimmerman and Sheikh Ashraf Jabri to Capitol Hill, and they met with a group of senators and U.S. House leaders. What came out of that meeting was so important. As they listened to this Palestinian sheikh who's leading the largest business movement among the Palestinian people today, they heard him say to the lawmakers, stop supporting a Palestinian economy. We can't succeed by you building into a Palestinian economy that's not associated with Israel. We need you to support integrated business, a way forward for the Israelis and Palestinians to prosper together. And as a result of this meeting, a piece of legislation was passed in December of 2020 um, through the House and Senate, obligating Congress to infuse investments into integrated business between Palestinians and Israelis for the very first time. This is a momentous occasion. This is a change in U.S. policy for good. And we believe that God is raising up this movement inside the Middle East today that coincides with the Abraham Accords, the treaties, the very first formation of um, Arab treaties with Israel and the United States. It is a wonder-working season of time between the Arabs and Israelis. And I think it's important that as watchmen on the wall, we stand at this momentous occasion and understand what's happening, and we call forth these things that God anticipated would take place in these last days.